So another point I wanted to bring up, and Jordan, I think you've had some, I think you've had some uh, experience with some of the members. So when they teach, they explain um, what's on earth is created as a shadow of what's in heaven, that yep. there has to be a spiritual mother. Why? Because on earth we see the shadow and, you know, women, you need a, a father and a mother to have life. That's the, um, the kind of uh, logic that, that's being used in order to explain why there must be a God the mother. Yep. So that means that on this earth you need a male and a female in order for life to be given. So it must be that way in the spiritual world as well. That's how a uh, soul is created is that, you know, God the father, God the mother, both must be present, come together and create a life. That's the, the reality to the shadow that we see on this earth. However, what does An Sung Hong say is the origin for a soul? Does he say that there's some sort of sexual reproduction that creates a, a soul in the kingdom of heaven? Uh, if you go to the Green Book, chapter 26, chapter 26, it says, the soul made by God's breath of life. And after Genesis chapter 2, um, there is a one-sentence paragraph followed by another paragraph. So chapter 26. Chapter 26. Sorry, yeah. hold on one second. It says, okay. the breath of life is, uh, sorry, the breath of life from God is a living soul. So when whatever God's breath of life is, what is that? That's a living soul. Well, just in the middle of that paragraph, right after, after it references John chapter 20, verse 22, it says, God's breath, the breath of life, is a molecule coming out of God's creative power. So is this, is the breath of life a living soul done and created through some sort of spiritual sexual reproduction? No, it's nope. a singular molecule coming out of his creative power, not his, uh, you know, intercourse with Heavenly Mother in the spiritual world. They don't have to have two different gods coming together to create a spiritual life. You know, it has to come from a singular molecule coming out of God's creative power. So that's on Sung Hong's explanation of where the soul comes from. So life is given not through, you know, the same means as on earth, but rather through a very different method in the kingdom of heaven. An's explanation is a molecule coming from God's creative power. But here, you know, in the church of God, they teach, well, just like on earth, it has to be in heaven. This is a shadow. So if, you know, you need a, a mommy and a daddy, you need a mommy and daddy in heaven. No, it's it's very different based on his explanation. Yep. Just, just one more place where An Song Hong is either silent about, you know, purporting some kind of idea of a female deity he's either silent about it or he flat out refutes it <laughs> you know <laughs> th those are those are that's what you get from on song hong when it comes to the doctrine of a female deity